Alright, so, last time I made a tutorial was on my 3D text, and you guys seem to like that video a lot. So now, I'm going to make a tutorial on how I do my shakes. So, like, the type of shake that I'm going to be showing you how to do is something similar to this. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. And yeah, so let's get on with this damn tutorial. Alright, so to make this type of shake, it's honestly really easy. Come over to your effects and presets and search for S underscore shake. Over here. Also, I would, pr I would recommend doing your transitions before you get your shake. That's just personally how I do it. I just find it like easier to see how the shake would look with the transitions already there. So yeah. Okay, so when you have your um shake added, you wanna make the amplitude zero point three four. And you wanna make the frequency about two. And I'm assuming like a lot of people know the differences between the amplitude and frequency. But in case if you don't, the frequency is how um fast it is and the amplitude is how hard the shake is. So you come over to your X shake and you make the X Rand amp. I'm gonna make that around 20 to 30. I'm gonna keep it 20 for now. And then come to the Y shake and make the Y shake 90. You can honestly leave it at 96 or do whatever. It depends how like long or whatever clip you have. And then you wanna come over to your tilt shake, make the tilt Rand amp 5 and make the tilt wave amp 2. Now all these like settings would like vary depending on how your uh, clip is or how long your clip is how short your clip is I'm just doing this based on like my clip okay so when you do that you want to keyframe your amplitude at the beginning of your clip go to the end of your clip and then make the amplitude 1.09 and then you want to highlight keyframes f9 to easy ease it bring out your graph editor and you want to make it graph something like this just drag this down to like negative eight and then drag this up to like right about there oh jeez i'm okay i'm actually dumb i forgot to turn on the shake my bad you can always like adjust the things like i said in my 3d text tutorial you can adjust the settings to fit your clip so maybe I'll make this four. Oh, I'm at point four. Whoops. This is point four. That's yeah, not bad. And uh, we, when you add your Twitch and three uh, Twitch and your CC and all that, it'll look much better. So um, yeah, I guess that's really about it for my shake tutorial. That went really fast, that went like much faster than I expected. So uh, yeah, I'll try to post more tutorials somewhat in the future. Uh, yeah, that's about it, see ya.